Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Thursday, April 21st, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be going over a recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out, talking about the core picks for today, and then talking about my top GPP stacks for today as well. But without further ado, we'll get started with the picks from yesterday, seeing how they turned out. So at pitcher, we had Chris Bassett, $10,500. Like I mentioned yesterday, a little bit more of a price tag than I like to pay up for him. Thought it was a decent matchup, but he ended up giving up five runs in six innings, so he only got 21 points. He was about the 13th ranked pitcher on the slate overall. Then we had Gleyber Torres at $2,400. Got his big fat zero. He went over three yesterday, so he was a miss. He had very good history versus Eduardo Rodriguez yesterday. He had been doing a little bit better, so chance that was worth taking, but just didn't work out yesterday. Then we had his teammate Isaiah Kiner Falefa, $2,400 as well. He got to 15.7 points. He was a hit. He was actually the top shortstop on yesterday's slate and the third ranked third baseman. So pretty good day for him overall. Can't complain there. And a really, really good value. Then we had Kettle Marte at that reduced price tag at $2,900. Got to 18.9, so he was a hit. He was the second ranked second baseman and the seventh ranked outfielder yesterday. And then last but not least, we have Whit Merrifield at $2,700. Got to 9.2 points, so he was a hit. Pretty decent price tag there. Pretty decent results. Can't really complain too much. If we had a little bit better pitcher there, probably make some money. If Glaber Torres just does a little bit of anything, probably helps us out as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to the core picks for today. So it is a six-game main slate over on Fandle, which does start right around 1 o'clock Eastern time. And we start off with pitcher Joe Ryan, $8,200. He's pitching for the Twins against the Kansas City Royals. He has yet to face them so far in his young career. Off to a pretty solid start so far this year, averaging about 32 points. Definitely looking like a good little mid-range value at that pitcher position. Then we move all the way down to third base. You could also play this guy at second base if you really want to with Sheldon Noose. For the Oakland A's, $2,600. Relatively cheap price tag, averaging over 8 points per game so far. Goes against Tyler Wells on the mound for Baltimore. Still a relatively young, unproven pitcher. I do like stacking some of these A's bats once again today. Then we move down to Francisco Lindor at $4,400. Obviously a hefty price tag, the top price shortstop on the slate. I do like him quite a bit today. Xander Bogarts is up there, Bo Bichette. There's quite a few shortstops that you can play on tonight's slate. But with that being said, Francisco Lindor is 5 for 12 with two home runs versus Anthony Discalfani, the starter for the Giants tonight. So we're looking at some good history plus some good recent games for Francisco Lindor. Definitely an intriguing option once again tonight. Then we move down to outfield with Josh Naylor. You could also play him at first base if you really want to do so. $2,400 over eight points already. So this is kind of like Sheldon News here. He's only played four games, but you know, you're getting pretty decent points for the value that you have at $2,400. I definitely have a lot of interest in him, and he's one for two versus Dylan Cease in his career. And if we're being honest, it's just great to see Josh Naylor back out there after the injury that he did suffer at the end of last season. And then last but not least, we have Luis Robert for the Chicago White Sox. $3,600, so a priced up spot here, only averaging just under 10 points so far this season. So we're looking for a little bit more of a boom game here, but he does have good history against Zach Plesek. 5 for 10 versus him in his career. No home runs yet, but we'll see if he contains that tonight. But with that being said, if you go to these five picks that I do have listed here, you have $13,800 remaining, just over $3,400 per player. Not too many high, high price guys today besides Francisco Lindor, so you can pretty much pay up for anybody that you want on tonight's slate. Kind of mix and match a little bit here. I mean, I guess Vladimir Guerrero is $4,100 at first base, so if you want to play him, might have to make some sacrifices elsewhere, but there's definitely a lot of options out there for it being just a six-game slate overall. And then with that being said, I'm going to get into the top GPP stacks for the day. I believe my article is not up yet at webetats.com. Definitely check that out throughout the day for my cheat sheet. Once it is posted, I'll post the link down in the comments below. But as far as the top GPP stacks that I do have for today, I have the Baltimore Orioles going against Paul Blackburn. Paul Blackburn hasn't really been the best pitcher throughout his career kind of ineffectiveness and injuries have limited over the duration of his career so don't have a problem stacking some of these Baltimore bats against him then on the opposite side of the game I don't have a problem playing some of these A's like I kind of mentioned with Sheldon Noose going against Tyler Wells still relatively young improving pitcher and then we have the twins against Zach Greinke if you look at my spreadsheet today there's going to be a lot of twins in there just because they have decent price tags decent matchup against Zach Greinke who's not quite what he used to be at this point in time then last but not least, I do have some of these Mets bats against Anthony Del Scafani. A lot of them have decent matchups and decent history versus him in the past. But with that being said, these are my core picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, April 21st. As always, if you have any questions about MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. 
Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate, whether it's one of the core picks that I do have here, whether it's somebody from my top GPP stacks or a completely different player. Definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say. But with that being said, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. It helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, whether it's NBA, whether it's MLB, whether it's NFL, and now even USFL. So we're going to have a video coming out at some point tomorrow talking a little bit of USFL. We're going to be doing a USFL fantasy draft tomorrow night. Probably going to do a live stream for that as well. JC Money Design and myself, as well as a couple other members of that league. And then with that being said, if you're a newer current subscriber yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.